let's see the lesson motion standard 9th book back exercise and question answer first one choose the correct answer first question the area under velocity time graph represents the options a velocity of the moving object option b displacement covered by the moving object option c speed of the moving object option d acceleration of the moving object the correct answer is option b displacement covered by the moving object second question which one of the following is most likely not a case of uniform circular motion option a motion of the earth around the sun option b motion of your toy train on a circular track option c motion of a racing car on a circular track option d motion of hours hand on the dial of the clock the correct answer is option c motion of a racing car on a circular track third question which of the following graph represents uniform motion of a moving particle these are the options the correct answer is option b fourth question the centrifugal force is option a a real force option b the force of reaction of centripetal force option c a virtual force option d directed towards a center of the circular path the correct answer is option b the force of reaction of centripetal force next fill in the blanks question number 1 speed is a dash quantity whereas velocity is a dash quantity speed is a scalar quantity velocity is a vector quantity second one the slope of the distance time graph at any point gives dash the answer is speed third one negative acceleration is called dash the answer is retardation fourth question area under velocity time graph shows dash answer displacement third roman letter state whether true or false if false correct the statement question number 1 the motion of a city bus in a heavy traffic road is an example for uniform motion the answer is false the correct statement is the motion of a city bus in a heavy traffic road is an example for non uniform motion second question acceleration can get negative value also answer true third question distance covered by a particle never becomes zero but displacement becomes zero the answer is true fourth question the velocity time graph of a particle falling freely under gravity would be a straight line parallel to the x axis the answer is false the correct statement is the velocity time graph of a particle falling freely under gravity would be a straight line perpendicular to the x axis fifth question if the velocity time graph of a particle is a straight line inclined to x axis then its displacement time graph will be a straight line answer is true assertion and reason type questions first question assertion the accelerated motion of an object may be due to change in magnitude of velocity or direction or both of them reason acceleration can be produced only by change in magnitude of velocity it does not depend the direction the correct answer is option c assertion is true but reason is false second question assertion the speedometer of a car or a motorcycle measures its average speed reason average velocity is equal to 
total displacement divided by total time taken the correct answer is both assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion third one assertion a displacement of a body may be zero when distance travel by it is not zero reason the displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final position the answer is option a both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion next match the following 1 motion of a body covering equal distances in equal interval of time answer for this graph d is the answer second question motion with non uniform acceleration graph c is the answer third question constant retardation graph a is the answer fourth one uniform acceleration graph b is the answer next answer briefly first question define velocity answer velocity is the rate of change of displacement it is the displacement in unit time question 2 distinguish distance and displacement answer for this a distance displacement actual length of the path traveled by a moving body irrespective of the direction displacement the change in position of a moving body in a particular direction distance it is a scalar quantity displacement it is a vector quantity question 3 what do you mean by uniform motion answer an object is said to be in uniform motion if it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time howsoever big or small these time intervals may be question 4 compare speed and velocity speed the rate of change of distance velocity the rate of change of displacement speed it is a scalar quantity velocity it is a vector quantity speed is equal to distance travel by time taken velocity is equal to displacement by time taken question number 5 what do you understand about negative acceleration answer for this question if v is lesser than u that is if final velocity is less than initial velocity the velocity decreases with time and the value of acceleration is negative it is called negative acceleration it is also called as retardation question number 6 is a uniform circular motion accelerated give reasons for your answer When an object is moving with a constant speed along a circular path the velocity changes due to the change in direction hence it is an accelerated motion Question number 7 what is meant by uniform circular motion give two examples of uniform circular motion answer when an object moves with constant speed along a circular path the motion is called uniform circular motion example revolution of earth around the sun revolution of moon around the earth 